In this video, we'll take a look at how we use the CASA Draft IronCAD application with DDM. So I'm in IronCAD and I've created my scene file. Uh, firstly, I'm going to store this back to DDM. So from the add-ins PDM integrator, we're going to save this. And as we store it, we will assign a number and description to it just using the DDM properties window. So this is a manufactured part, uh, a manufactured component. This is the number and because I want to create a drawing of this, we're going to select to allocate a drawing with the same number as we create this 3D record. And this is my bearing housing. Okay, so if we save that back to DDM, and then if we take a look in DDM, so search and open, and if I have a look on my workbench, um, we can see here we've got the 3D model and a drawing related to it. So if we have a look at the 3D model at drawings, here's the drawing. And if we have a look at drawings, we can see we've got the drawing link to the 3D model. At the minute, this is an empty record. So if we look at the properties, you'll see there are no file versions attached to it. So what we need to do is to create a file version to attach to this drawing record. And to do this, we create our CASA draft drawing. So I've got a, a template created, which we will use. Okay, so the template is configured to use attributes from the 3D model. So let's add a view. And as soon as I add a view, you'll see the, uh, the title block updates. Let's just project another view from this. And with our drawing complete, we're going to save this. So we would save it in the normal way, um, but we need to make sure that this saves to the working directory. So if you have a shortcut for it, uh, which I have here, quick access working, then we need to make sure this gets saved here because this is where the 3D model is stored. So we'll save this. And what we're also going to do is to create a print, a 3D PDF of this. So we need to have this set to uh, create PDFs, make sure our paper uh, size and orientation is correct, and then we're going to print. And this also needs to go to the same location. And we don't change the name, we just store this. Okay, so we've now made a copy of this file that we want to put into DDM. So we can close this window. We can also close this and we can return to DDM either from PDM Integrator Search and Open or these can be added to your Quick Access Toolbar which I've done here. So we'll go into DDM and what we're going to do, we're going to open the properties of this drawing and we're going to open to our working directory. So C Design Data Manager working. On the properties we'll go to versions Here's the CASA draft file. We'll drag that here and we can clean it up from the disk. And the attachment is going to be the PDF, so we can attach that. Click on OK. Now the attachment is not automatically removed, so I'm going to delete that here. And now if I just refresh my screen, we can see that there is a CASA draft file attached to this and there should also be a PDF preview that we can view. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we'll take a look at modifying a work in progress file that we've been working on. So I'm going to load this file and we're going to make a change to it and we're just going to put a hole through this, 21, and we will drag this through the part. Okay, so our part is updated. We'll just save that change. And if we go back into DDM, what we're going to do is to load the drawing. So we double click to load the drawing. It knows that the 3D model has changed, so we're going to update the drawing. And because we've opened this 
And because there's no direct integration to CasaDraft, we've opened this as a document using what we call AnyDocs. And so the DDM window has remained open in the background. So we just need to close this uh, because we'll need the connection back to IronCAD in a moment. So our drawing is updated. The first thing we need to do is to create a PDF of this drawing. So again, we'll select to do a plot and print. Now, because of the way that this CASA draft drawing has been opened, it's no longer in the working directory. Because it's been opened as a document through AnyDocs, we will find it in the office working directory. And what we're looking for is the latest folder here. So these are our temporary folders that get opened um, as we load the CASA draft drawing. So this is the, the one that we want to use. We don't change the, the PDF file name. We just select to save that. And now if we save this back to DDM, we select the overwrite option and our drawing is now updated in DDM. So we'll just confirm this by closing this. This is already saved. Go back into DDM. And if we have a look at our preview, you'll see we now have the updated preview in session. Now, a consequence of creating or updating the CASA draft files in this way is that it has redirected the default working directory for, for IronCAD. So if I return to IronCAD and if I create a new part now, and we will just create a bearing, So when I come to save this to DDM, you'll see it's trying to save it to this temporary directory. And we always need our new 3D scene files to go to the working directory. So just remember to reset this as we do it. The other thing that I want to take a look at is how we handle a situation where we forget to create a drawing when we create the part record or we find later that we want to create a drawing. So in this case, I'm going to give this a part number. And this is our bearing. So our 3D record has been created, but we have no drawing record created for this. So if we come back into DDM, here's our 3D file, and you'll see there is no drawing. So if we later recognize that we need a drawing, we'll need to create that manually. First thing we need to do is take a copy of the same number. And by right clicking in white space, we can say create a new drawing. We'll paste the drawing number in and we'll give this the same number. So if I just refresh that, we've now got a drawing record created, but still it's not linked to the part record. So what we have to do is again, open the properties of the drawing and go to the links tab. And then we're going to copy and paste that part record into the drawing. So now if I refresh this and we'll organize it by name, we'll see that this drawing now has this part related to it. And so we're now in, in a position to create the drawing in the same way we did for the first item. The final thing we're going to take a look at is how we handle a new revision of a component and its related drawing. So to do that, I need to release this because I can't create a new issue or revision of this until this has been released. So we'll do a state change on this and we'll set it to released. Okay, now they will disappear from my working directory. But if I have a look in my recent items, here's the item that we've just released. And this time we're going to take the drawing and we're going to up issue the drawing and the model before we open them and make changes. So in the up issue uh, manager window, we select the model and drawing. We say go to next issue and we're going to fill in a change reason as well. So this is linked to change order 2019. And the change that we're going to make is 
rads added to housing okay so we can click on OK and we will have a new revision of the model and drawing which will also be in this case on my workbench. So the process is now going to be exactly the same as it was when we modified the existing part but we'll just go through those steps. We load the 3D model and we're going to add a new feature. So we're going to add a round to this edge and this edge um, and it's going to be two millimeters okay so that's created and we can save that back to DDM and in the same way as we did before we will go into DDM we leave the 3d model open and we will load the new issue or revision of the of the housing again it recognizes that this is been updated and we can see the drawing has been updated as well. Because I have it configured my revision history is also updated on my drawing title block with the change that I've just made. Okay so same steps as before we create our PDF preview we'll print that and again this goes into office working and we look for the latest which is this one and we can save this and finally we store the changes back to DDM so overwrite and our changes is made so we can close this window close this window go back to DDM refresh this window and we can see we have the updated drawing and if we look at the PDF preview then we've got the PDF preview with the updates on it. So just an overview of how to manage the CASA draft environment in DDM.